at Lowe's recently and I found these green plants that are called wire vine and some people call them angel vine. And you can see them at craft shows and that type thing where people have trained them around some type of form. And I think they're just so beautiful. And today I'm gonna try my hand at forming my wire vines around a grapevine wreath. I'm gonna take you along and show you all the supplies that I use to make this happen. I hope you enjoy. So to do this, you will need some type of pot to put your plant in. I'm using terracotta. You need a form to train your vine around, and you also need greening pins. I have this terracotta pot, and I'm just gonna tone it down a little bit with white wax. And this is Joe Lee Finishing Wax. And I have a link in the description box below. And if you use my code, you can save a little money on it. So the wax just tones it down a little bit. I think that it makes it look a little more antique. But if you like the way terracotta looks, you can just skip this step or if you have another planner. Um, I just like it this way to go in my house. Okay, after everything is planted, you'll take your grapevine wreaths, and these came as a set of two. So I'll just use one and then maybe do another one later. And what I'm gonna do is put it on my plant, and then I'll show you what to do next. I want my wreath to sit right in the middle of my plant. So I'm gonna take my greening pins and I'll link all this stuff in the description box below for you to be able to find it easier. And then I will use these on my wreath. Okay, I got them all out. And this is what the greening pins look like. And we're just gonna use those to secure our wreath to our plant. Stick them down in the soil on top of your wreath and it'll hold it securely in place. Okay, and you can use as many as it takes. If you're, if you're using a bigger wreath, it's obviously gonna take more, but um, just use it until your wreath feels secure. Okay, now that everything is good and secure, we are going to take one vine at the time because these are very delicate and you want to be very um, easy with them. So you just take one at the time and you just wrap it around your wreath. 
and you can do it any way you want to. So if you want to do it from the outside in, you can do that. Just whatever way looks the best to you. And then you just play with this part to get it like you want it. 